One thing for certain is that I expect little of the government of Justin Trudeau, and I inevitably get exactly that. You can almost bet money uh, on the fact that he and his less than stellar ministers we usually do the wrong thing for exactly the wrong reasons. Take for example the proposal by Tech Resources to pump $20 billion into an Alberta oil sands mine project called Frontier. Uh, the project will not cost the taxpayer anything, not one red cent. All the company needs is a green light from the Trudeau government. The project will inject some much-needed investment into what has become a stagnant economy courtesy of other bad liberal decisions. It will employ thousands of folks in a market that desperately needs it. But, no... Apparently, the Liberal caucus is divided over this particular application. So instead of doing the right thing like a real leader would do, Trudeau is considering doing the typical Liberal thing. Instead of approving the project, the Liberals are talking about providing an aid package to Alberta. Aid to Alberta? That in and of itself shows a profound lack of understanding for Albertan. Alberta doesn't want Liberal aid. They want jobs, and the government to get out of the way. They have lost over 100,000 good-paying energy sector jobs in the past couple of years. They are used to being the economic engine of Canada, not a poor cousin with its hand out. But the liberal mindset doesn't get that. The Laurentian elites think there's no shortage of taxpayer dollars, and everything will be fine if they just throw some more of it around. There is a very real Western separation movement, dubbed Wexit. Why the Prime Minister would want to do anything to fan the flames of separation is anyone's guess. Especially when doing nothing won't cost the country anything. Granted, he'd have to stand up to the Laurentian elites, who worship at the altar of climate change and listen to the bleatings of a 16-year-old girl. But instead of dealing with the issue, or indeed the second derailment of a train carrying crude oil in Saskatchewan in two months, hmm, if only we could figure out another safer way to transport oil. Hmm. Anyway, the Prime Minister has decided to jet off at the taxpayer's expense to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, where he has met with the Prime Minister uh, and the President there. Why is a whole other question. The government officially says they are opening negotiations towards a new foreign investment protection agreement. Uh huh. Ethiopia is a net importer of Canadian goods and has, depending on whose metrics are being used, something in the neighborhood of the 167th economy uh, ranked in the world. What the government won't say is that Trudeau is vying for one of the two rotating seats at the UN Security Council. Apparently Canada, who is competing with Ireland and Norway for the seat, needs the support of the Ethiopian government in the United Nations. So the Prime Minister is trying to figure out what that support is going to cost the Canadian taxpayer. It's ridiculous, of course, but this is the priority of this Liberal government. We can always rely on Trudeau to do the wrong thing. Huh. For True North... I'm Leo Knight.